just my name's Steve. My name's Ernest. God, these guys look sad. All right, so <laughs> in this verse is, uh, those are the real and those are the bootlegs, right? No, actually, those are the real, those are the bootleg. No. Why do bootlegs look better, Steve? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyways, today we're going to uh, compare these two guys together. We did a review of the bootlegs already, kind of gave our thoughts on that. But to give it a more, I guess, critical analysis, because yeah. for the most part, the review is more focused on these. We're going to finally decide for this video which one you should be spending your price. Arnez, Google or uh, eBay, how much do those things go for nowadays? Which one? The, the Monster actual Monster Arts ones. The actual Monster Arts ones. Well, let's see. All right, so I guess for starters, we're going to go with the price point. These guys, $110 on average, if you want to acquire them brand new in the box. Bootlegs, you're looking at about $30, $35, depending on if you want the box. It said $23 on there, Steve. <laughs> there, There is definitely a wide range. Some of them, like, are there cheaper by shipping. Some of them buy it now. But eh. uh, The one I went with had the best uh, seller rating. Yeah, because of that one that says 23, he had one star, so... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, because we've already had plenty of issues trying to get a hold of bootlegs, and then, like, nothing ever gets shipped or nothing gets sent, and then you have to fight with them, blah, 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 blah. And usually the higher rating guys that have yeah. been there for a minute are way more willing to deal with you. <laughs> so, uh, I guess for the first one, the bootlegs are winning, because who doesn't want to save 70 bucks? Yeah, like it comes down to like that's seventy dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, because for this video too, we're not also going to be tossing NECAs in this. Like it's literally just between these two, which one's the better? Yeah, we might do bootlegs and NECAs later on. Yeah, because I think that's honestly a more fair comparison. Yeah, because this one right now. Uh... Uh, anyways, uh, after the price, I guess we'll go with accessories. Uh, literally the exact, well, almost the exact same. Uh, I should have grabbed the parts, but if I remember right, uh, these guys come with two stands and two attachments for the stands. Boot, the, the original ones actually came with three versions. Really? Yeah, you got like one extra stand piece because there I was... I don't remember. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, it did, right? Yeah, because you have the clamp here. There was this one, which has the little hook doodad. And then there was an extra one for Rodan. So, you actually get one... Yeah, I remember because we decided that the other one was kind of like waste. <gasps> Hold up. I got the box here. We'll just open it up and look at it. Oh, okay. It actually... Uh, never mind. It's in the thing. But yeah, it actually came with a little like rest you could put it yeah, on. Yeah, it was that which just turned out to be painful. Yeah, it, you just, just use the clamps. For love God, use the clamps. Now, this one kind of bypasses that by having a peg hole, so you don't really <laughs> have to actually go with any of them. You know, Which damn. I almost... I almost like better. Like, I'm on the verge. You know damn well somebody drilled that hole in there, Steve? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. We're, we're losing parts again. Um, so, uh, Monster Arts, definitely winning. Three's better than two. Uh, next, for details. All right, so I guess we'll start with the Rodans on this one, but like we mentioned in the review, as you guys can tell, the Monster Arts one, detail-wise, uh, for the sculpt is definitely a lot crisper than it is on the bootleg. It's better. Usually I go with bootleg, but here it's noticeable enough. Uh, yeah, it's, and I'm not sure even if it's because of the dry brushing on there. Because, like, I'm trying to look at this, and to be fair, it should be mostly the same, but you can definitely tell that just, like, the pointed edges on the regular one are definitely a lot harder. I think it is the paint. And I think the paint might have something to do with it. But then again, you can see parts of the mold where, like, there's literally, like, no detail there. Yeah. Or here it looks kind of melted. While on the Monster Arts. There's better details. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is the way that they have the joints hooked up. Because uh, the way it is on here, the shoulders actually overlap on top of the wings here. These ones are on the side. Whoa. Which... It definitely hurts the articulation aspect of it. I just noticed that. But even, like, looking at the necks here, you could tell that there's a bit of a difference between the way the sculpt is on it. I don't know what you're talking about, Steve. If it wasn't for that hole, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between them. <coughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but other than that, like, 
color scheme wise, the Monster Arts one's a little bit more on the red side, which as a base color, after rewatching the movie, I think works a little bit better. It's not as, I think, we're not bringing NECA in this, but I think still NECA has the paint job better. Yeah, well, the NECA has like the fire on the edge of the wings and stuff, so it definitely shows, uh, it should show up better at shelf, but the way the stand is on the NECA makes it kind of irrelevant. Oh, well, you, with this one... You can just bootleg the neck and drill a hole and just peg it. Could. <laughs> but why? I got this one. This one's just going to get repainted to look like the NECA, <laughs> so it's going to be great. Um, so detail-wise, it's definitely the Monster Arts one. Uh, for the Rodan, anyways. But... Is it $70 better? Well, I, I, well sorry. 50 Because uh, we, we'll say... We'll split it up. So you want to say they're about 55 bucks yeah. per figure? Well, this one, if you split it up, we're looking at about 15 bucks a figure. Yeah. So, yeah. 40 bucks. Is it worth the extra 40 bucks to have crisper detailings and a little bit nicer coloring? All right, so, this is like the situation that we were talking about. Oh, because even like the beak, too. You can tell with the beak. Like, the beak's coloring on the original you is should... like red with some blacks. Well, this one, it's all the same color. You should buy the bootleg if you're planning to repaint it. Do something with it. Yeah, if not, hundred percent. Pay, pay, pay to forty bucks, please. <laughs> right, but we have the Mothras. Mothra one, there isn't too much difference. Yeah, the, the big one we mentioned in the review is just the original Mothra has got a lot more orange going on with it, while the bootleg is a lot more yellow, and then the body is a little bit more on the bland side. It's definitely some darker colors and it's, um, uh. It's like it's almost like it's got like a little bit of a yellow dry brush over like a dark brown. Well, regular Mothra's got all the yellows. I don't the know. Tank. I feel like the bootleg might get a better body. I, I kind of like the body on the bootleg a little bit better just because it's uh I think if you had like the bootleg body with the monster arts wings, <laughs> it would look actually pretty nice because the basic body color would uh not stand out as much with the the way the wings are. Definitely, wigs are better on the monster art. Oh, yeah. Uh, the wings are actually, like, decently posable on the monster arts. It's still terrifying, though. But the ball joints work a little bit better. Same with, like, the claws. You get a lot more posability on the monster arts one. While on the bootleg, it just goes back and forth. Just kind of like the, the NECA. Well, for the most part, anyways. So, uh, the monster arts monster definitely wins. Oh, but again, as if... Worth that 45 extra bucks. <laughs> For the Mothra one, no. I think it would just be better to buy the bootleg one. Yeah, I think there's not enough difference here. So yeah. it's kind of like... It's a 50 it's, 50. it's almost the opposite. Like, the Monster Arts one, we like we like the Mothra... Uh, or we, the Rodan was definitely the reason to buy the Monster Arts one. Well, the Mothra was like, eh, but the NECA one's the thing. Well, this one, I would much rather have this Mothra than this. Oh, like, I would have loved to have paid 15 bucks for this Mothra, but the Rodan, I'm definitely a little bit on the disappointed side. <sighs> so, who do you give it to, then? And who wins in posability? How about that? Oh, actually, you know, well, the Monster Arts. Monster Arts. So, Monster Arts has one right there. Yeah. Because, uh, well, I guess, like, detailing-wise... Yeah, I would still go with the Monster Arts because, like, the bulk of the figure is the the Rodan. Yeah. And because the Monster Arts Rodan is just the superior figure, this little bit of extra difference to kind of sway me towards the bootleg isn't going to really merit it. Because it's like, man, I'm so glad I paid 15 bucks for this when I spent more money for this, but, like, this one I would have much rather have had. Yeah. So, posability wise Monster Arts, detail-wise... Still going to go with the Monster Arts. So price-wise, it's the bootlegs. Everything else is Monster Art. Yeah. All right. Then, uh, I guess for the final one, we're going to go with Ease of Access. Um, God, I'd almost say at this point, it's probably easier to get the bootlegs. Because most stores are sold out of this guy, so you'd have to get them on eBay. Bootlegs. Where do you get the bootleg from? Is it coming from China, Japan? China. Uh, legit one you're looking stateside and japan so like this monster is one you might still be able to find in some like comic book shops like novelty shops stuff like that while ordering it a little harder but then again you like you saw ebay and like 
lot. pre-owned Japanese sites, you might still be able to get a hold of it. A lot of shipping from China has been shot down, though, so... Well, Japan, too. Yeah, but at least Monster Arts, you can still find somewhere in the U.S. in the comic shops and stuff like that. Yeah, well, well I'm trying I, to think I, of this, like, not, like, this current situation. I just mean in general. In general, yeah, you go with the other one, but at the current situation, depending on how long it lasts, you might go with Monster Art, though. So that one's, like, 50-50. Yeah, because initially I was, like, waving to towards them to begin with because like, like, it's been like you got like aliexpress wish yeah ebay like, yeah. they're pretty readily available all well, these guys a little bit hit and miss but like facebook groups you might be able to still find them on but the situation right now uh right now like yeah you, these guys are if stateside anyways these guys are going to be what you're going to be going with and a lot of guys on ebay that we looked at they were all stateside which is true yeah, because one of them, Stateside, was selling the guy that sold one for 98 free shipping. It was from a comic book store, and he had like 10 of them. Fine, Monster Arts wins. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be logical about this. Although I will say that I was I grabbed the Godzilla because I was thinking about doing which one I think looks better next to him. But to be honest, like... Look the same? Yeah, it's pretty much about the same. Like, it's still serviceable. Now, if I had the bootleg still... <laughs> <laughs> I still definitely would prefer the Monster Arts one over that, but the bootleg wasn't mine to begin with, so uh, that was kindly sent to us from our buddy Aaron, and then I repainted and sent it back to him. We appreciate you, Aaron. Yeah, but like, it still, it works. So I would almost say the bootleg wins because you're saving money and it still looks pretty good with the Godzilla. Yeah. I would say I still like this a little better, but again, price difference-wise. I think they nudge it out just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So overall, bootlegs went on pretty much the cost of the figures and them next to Godzilla because it's about the same. So when it's about the same, you go with the bootleg. Yeah. And it costs, you're, def you're saving yourself 70-ish bucks on average by buying the bootleg, but they lose on generally every other aspect of the fight though. Like, come with less stuff. Details isn't good. Paint job isn't as good. So there's not one thing that persuades it to make it go to the other side besides the price. Yeah. Except somebody was smart enough to drill a hole in the chest, which actually kind of works out. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> when you like, but then if you like just want to have a down like this, you got to rodan with a hole in his chest. Oh, Standing he next has to a Godzilla. bleeding heart. That Mothra went with Godzilla instead of him. But they were fighting like right off the. He had burning movie. passion for her. Oh, you could just say the hole in his chest is this from the stinger. Oh, there we go. Custom made. <laughs> right? Well, I know how I'm painting it now. <laughs> <laughs> With a stinger in his chest? <laughs> yeah. Well, the issue is, is like, I'd want to Dremel in anyways, because I was thinking about having it where he has, like, the hole, like, the glowing hole here. But the problem is it's, like, dead center, so... <sighs> it kind of blows in that aspect. All right, so to conclude this versus, we're... we're Keeping NECA out of the discussion because, like we mentioned in the review, because NECA was an option, we don't know like why why did this need to be a th why this needs to be a thing because you have your expensive nicely detailed figure and then you have your cheaper alternative which does the job pretty serviceably, and then there's these guys, which again cheaper option does the job but there's still this one yeah so if you take the NECA out. These guys kind of become like our new NECAs, for lack of a better word, <laughs> way to say it. it. It kind of sucks, but yeah, it's pretty much like that's what they would be. So is better articulation, better paint job, and one extra little accessory worth the $70 paint? Dip? To a collector, yes. To an average Joe, no. If you're serious about collecting your stuff, you'll get the Monster Arts. But if you don't care, you just want a representation, you'll pay the 30 bucks. <sighs> but then again, like, I don't, like, look at Facebook groups and stuff like that. Like, people want the monsters to look like they did from the movie. That like, that's get, especially the thing that I always see people complaining about the most, especially when they're trying to buy stuff, is they want it to look... Then you get the NECA. Shut up and get the NECA then. Well, yeah, but we can't talk about Like, the NECA's oh. not in this discussion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, Monster Arts-wise, I think the Monster Arts ones just look more accurate for you. Because, again, like, they're, if, if I wanted to sitting next to my other Monster Arts Godzilla, yeah, well, I wanted to look 
like it did for the film. And the Monster Arts one does that for me. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, if you're a serious collector, you'll get the Monster Art. If you're not, you just want one figure of Rodan and Mothra, and you don't care what it looks like, you'll, you'll get the bootleg. Because $70, at the end of the day, is still 70 bucks. Oh, actually, no, we probably should have brought this up beforehand, but I have one other category, and I think this is also where the Monster Arts kind of wins it for me. It's durability. <laughs> <laughs> because, um... I'll insert the photo here. But when I got him in, the bootleg Rodan was already... Oh, like the, the, one the, the wing was already not on the figure. You mean the one that I posted on Instagram? Yeah. So, it already had issues getting out of the box. Now, with the Monster Arts, you have, like, ball joint issues, right? Like, yeah. sometimes you got loose ball joints. It happens. The bootleg also has loose joint in the chest and stuff. It's a ball joint figure. I, I get it. But... The way that they set him up is he's not all ball joints. He actually has, like, little square pegs that are glued in. And, yeah, and that makes it, articulating it even more terrifying. Only thing you can do is articulate the bootleg wings pretty decently. And because of the size, like, I'm, I'm, like I'd, my normal go-to would be to dremel it out and put a wire in. Yeah. Add reinforcement. But it's so small. You can't. That I would be afraid to damage it. So, but then that falls in the aspect of you customizing it. That's not customizing. That's just like if the figure breaks. What are you going to do? <laughs> like the Monster Arts one, I'm not really worried about breaking for the most part, unless you really decide to go to town on the Mothra wings or something. Yeah. And that's on you. While the bootleg could just be you're just putting it on your shelf, or you just have it sitting on your shelf and the glue just wears over time yeah. because of the weight. So, I'm going to give it the Monster Arts here. Uh. uh... I'm still 50-50. Well, you're 50-50. I'm not. So I think that sways it towards the Monster Arts. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> because like I said, Monster Art is 100 bucks, which is not that bad. But when you look at it from a cheap person's point of view, $70 is $70, man. You can buy another... You can buy Rodan and Mothra and then still get another figure on the side. And you get the bootleg Godzilla and collect the, the trifecta of disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, but anyways, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Would you guys prefer some bootlegs or do you guys like your legit figures? Or you just going to go get the Nekas. I, I, to be honest, I can understand all three. Although I would say if you want Monster Arts, just support the Monster Arts. I feel like we're going to have to do now bootleg versus the Neca ones just to figure out. <sighs> Probably. Yeah. But anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come arrange your deal. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.